Hi, this is David Maloney from Small Business Plant. Today I'm going to show you how to configure FileZilla and Fire FTP, which is a plugin for Firefox. So first of all, download FileZilla from the internet, so just search for FileZilla, or you'll find the link in this post. Once it's downloaded, install it, open it, and you'll be met with this screen, which can look a bit confusing. Now, I'll explain how to use FileZilla in a moment. But first, I just want to show you that this area here is for the display of the files on your computer, and this area here is for the display of the files on your internet site. So how do we open your internet site? Well, it's just a matter of going File, Site Manager, click on New Site down here. At the top, enter your host. So this is your website, samplesite.com. Leave the port open. Set your login type as normal. Now your username will be your cPanel password. This will be sent to you by your web host. If you don't know it, contact your web host. Once you've entered your cPanel username, then enter your cPanel password and click connect. Once you've connected, you'll be met with all the files of your website on this side and you'll be able to click and drag any files from your computer onto your website and vice versa. Now I'm 99% sure that all the files that you'll be looking for are kept under the directory public.html. So it's just a case of exploring that directory, navigating to the folder that you're looking for and then locating the file that you need. So that's FileZilla. Here's how to configure Fire FTP. The first thing you need to do is open up Firefox because this plugin will only work with Firefox. Once you open it, go to Google and search for Fire FTP. And it should be the first option up here. So it's a case of clicking on that, then clicking on the download link, and uh, then it will download to your Firefox browser. It'll automatically restart your browser and then you'll be able to use it. So let's assume I've just downloaded it. Then it's a case of going to Tools, Fire FTP. And this will open up a new tab in your browser. And similar to FileZilla, you have the files on your computer on the left and then you are going to have the files of your website on the right. And configuring your account in Fire FTP is also the same. So you click on this down menu and select create an account. The account name, this can be anything you want. I recommend that you enter your website name. So if for instance your site's name is samplesite.com, I would simply call the account name samplesite. For your host, Enter your website name. Your login is your cPanel username. Again, this should be supplied to you from your host. If you do not know what your cPanel password is, then contact your hosting provider. And your password is your cPanel password. So once you've entered that information, click OK. And you'll be able to view all your website files. And that's how to configure FileZilla and Fire FTP. For more tips, check out my site at smallbusinessplanned.com.